What's up, guys, and welcome to a really special, or at least special to me, episode of Nerd D20. Um, tonight, I am bringing you the first set of polyhedral dice that I ever purchased. Uh, they are by Chessex, and I believe they are still available for purchase, even though I've had these for a long time. These are from their Glitter series, and it is the, uh, the red and gold, or it might be ruby and gold. So I bought these for what was going to be a tabletop gaming session years and years ago um, when I was first being introduced to the, even the concept of role-playing games. Uh, that didn't end up panning out, and I only went to maybe one or two sessions. And then these just sat for a long time. Uh, once I started playing Magic and other games that could sometimes require dice rolls. Uh, I dug these out and I started using them. But if we take a look here, I really like these because of how shiny the surface is, but they did a really good job with the glitter in this. And it's consistent through all the pieces, um, even after years of use. The, the numbers are still super clean, nothing has chipped, dinged, or scratched, uh, and I really like these. Uh, fun story, these are actually what I would consider the things that um, got me into dice. Not even necessarily gaming, but just liking dice. And the reason is, I was looking for these a while back, and I found the rest of these, but the D20 was missing. And I, for the life of me, could not figure out where they went, or where it went, rather. So I went online, and I was looking at Chessex's website, and I saw the, uh, the Scarab Ruby and Gold, which from the pictures looked like these, and it turned out that it wasn't. So then I had two similar sets of dice, and I was like, well, I like the other ones, too, Let's see what else might be out there. And then from there, it just kind of, you know, snowballed, and I ended up with quite a bit of dice. But uh, these have been my trusty dice companions for a long time. They've never let me down. Uh, they typically roll pretty well. Not that uh, you can really tell short of scientific testing, but I like to think that uh, they've got my back. So I'm... Considering ordering another set of these just to have a backup uh, in case something were to ever happen to one of them, but then at the same time, I kind of want to just keep one set and have that be the special one. I'll show you guys the Scarab set here shortly uh, in another video, just because it is very it's very similar, but the differences uh, when you look at them close are pretty pronounced. Like these are very glittery. The Scarab ones are kind of a kind of an iridescent marble pattern but it still is in like the deep red with the gold numbers so that's pretty cool uh so you know you can like i said you can still find these uh they're available on chessex website you can get them on ebay amazon you could probably find them in some stores that might still stock these um older sets they're not hard to find but if any of you guys out there like red as much as i do this is just a beautiful set. It's par for the course as far as what Chessex is in terms of, you know, quality. I don't see any issues with them. I never have. And a matter of fact, some of these older sets, I found the, the numbering is much more clean and clear than some of the new ones. Um, if any of you watched the Luminary Sky review I did, it's a 2019 Chessex Glow in the Dark set. Um, there were multiple dice, and even a couple that I found after I did the video, um, where the numbering was kind of messed up or chipped and missing, and on these older sets, I just don't see that. So this isn't going to be a super long video. This is pretty much where I'm going to wrap it up. I just wanted to show you guys um, kind of where it all began for me, and a set of dice that, while fairly standard because they have the glitter sets and a lot of other colors and whatnot... Um, these I just love. So if you like them too, order a set. But either way, I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Um, like it if you did, thumbs down if you don't, and as always, leave any questions, comments, 
anything below. I'm still relatively new at doing this video thing, and I want to know what you guys like or don't like, so I really appreciate the constructive criticism. Anyway, this is uh, Nerd D20 that you've been watching. I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you next time.